you have a lot of racial tension going on, especially in New York City. At the time, the mayor was Mayor Lindsay, correct? Yeah. And Mayor Lindsay uh, was, worked closely with a law through his aide, Barry Goddard. So a lot of people say uh, one of the myths, uh, one of the stigmas, if you will, uh, surrounding the origins of the 5% nation of gods and earths and culture is that this is something that started in prison. And, and so by studying the history of the law and, and the greater uh, black history, you'll find that these teachings didn't originate in prison. These teachings, the culture itself didn't originate in prison. It originated with the conscience movement going on in Harlem at the time, okay, in the streets, okay, in the black community and Latino community. So as these teachings began to explode in Harlem, what happened was it naturally spread it throughout the all five boroughs. It spread it through Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, uh, uh, and then it even went outside of New York City in, in, in the Bronx, okay, and, and, and then in Long Island, okay, it spread all throughout New York City, all throughout New York State, and neighboring states in the tri-state area, and then as people began to relocate and move, they brought the teachers with them. So as you, as you know, when people travel and there's a migration of people uh, relocating from pl uh, place A to place B, the teachings go with them. And, that, and this is a, a, a social dynamic that happens all across the world. When people travel, they bring with them the customs and the knowledge with them. They bring with them the culture. And so the culture. I've been around the world three times. And every time I went around there, more I go, I see more five percent. Now you can go anywhere on this planet, and I guarantee you it's a five percent, and they got a school. And it started here in Mecca, which we call Manhattan, and now it's all over the world. You can't even count a five percent on your hand. Now, I, before I knew who they was, you could count. I knew how many was in Mecca. I knew how many was in Brooklyn. I knew how many was in Queens. I knew how many was there. I knew who they was, where they was. And if I seen them, we was only gonna know. That's why when some brother come up and walk up and say, I'm, I'm righteous, if you didn't see the flag, yeah, where you come from? It's so easy for us to identify. I ain't never seen you before. Cause we have a problem, I never seen you there. I never seen you had no show and proofs. I ain't never seen you before, so where did you come from? So we have a thing where we take each other through it, where brothers used to say we bombing each other's ass, but we take each other through a sequence or a mathematics to find out if you in tune. Right. You understand, mm -hmm. with each other. And we that's the way we kept each other sharp. Because it, I don't care where you go, where a person say he's at, we tested each other, we put it that way. I asked you a question, like, you know, and we go into the lessons and we ask each other questions to see that you know. So, and that's how a lot of people I found out all over the world was they real or was they not real through that, you know? Mm. So, um, this is for Dr. Gaspar. 